Hey, what's going on, everybody? So we have a what's being called a planet killer asteroid passing by today. It's uh, the size of Mount Everest. Okay, it's about 7,200 feet in diameter. Uh, it's traveling around 50,000 miles per hour. And if that's not enough, it's not going to hit us. So I just want to be clear on that. But it is 7,200 here. I'm going to show you something. Give me a second and I'll bring this up. Uh, where are we? Uh, right here. Let me bring this over to you. Let's take a look at this. Let me get this. Let me get my monitor off there. My my camera. Uh, let's see. Turn that off. Okay. And I'll make this a little bigger. But this is the one right here. 7,200 feet in diameter. If you think about that, that's around, tw that's 24 football fields. Okay. This is the type, and if you look at meters, they, they say any asteroid around 160 meters and above can be, it's very serious. Well, 160 meters, this is nearly 2,200 meters. This is passing by today. And what you don't see on here, it ends at June 28th, actually June 29th, but there's one more on here, okay, uh, that's going to be passing by on the 29th. And that's around 500 feet in diameter. And that's 2024 MK. This they found in May, on May 7th. Okay, they just found it. All right, and that one's 500 feet, so that's one of those 160 meter ones that are basically called city killers. Okay, and if we come down here, I'll show you something. Let me make this bigger for you. All right, let's come down to the bottom. Here we have June 29th, right? This where we're looking at the distance is going to be 0 0.769. What does that mean? I have it on lunar distance, which means it's going to pass by um, around 25% closer to Earth than the moon is. All right, so it's going to pass between the Earth and the moon. All right, and again, we just found this. All right, so um, I want to go back for a minute to... The other one, uh, the 2011 UL21, that one, give me a second here. Um, this one was found in 1989, okay? But it's passing today, and I'm going to show you something here. The close approach data again. Uh, where are we? Okay, so here we are. This one right here, this line right here, the 27th of June, 2024. You can see it's passing every one of these numbers you see here, like 17. You can times that by 238,000. Okay, so you're talking about a little over 4 million miles. That's what it's going to pass by. So 4 million miles is super close, especially with a 7,200 foot. But here's the thing. Uh, in 2089, that's going to pass by at around a one and a half million miles. So this thing's coming back around. Um, a lot of people won't have to worry about that at this time, but a lot will. Um, so uh, let me just show you something else, give you some more information. Hold on a second. Let me bring something up here. This is from the ESA, the European Space Agency. This is with regards to, um, let me try something here. I just want to do something. I don't know why I did this with the camera. I didn't make it fit correctly. All right, so I'll go here. 
but then I'll throw it off. All right, turn it off. All right, uh, the size is 2,310 meters. Um, discovery date, 2011, October 17th. Date, time of close approach, 27th of June, 2024. It says 20 UTC. So 20 is around 8 p.m. So you figure that's going to be around 4 p.m. Eastern time today. That's when it'll be passing by. And um, there is a site that you can watch this. And by the way, um, this asteroid, it's moving at 16.1 miles per second, which is 75 and a half times the speed of sound. Um, and remember, M, uh, 2024 MK, that asteroid, it's 492 feet across, and that'll be coming closer to the Earth than the moon on June 29th. Um, I just want to find a link for you. And June 30th is Asteroid Day. Okay, here we go. This is what I want to show you. This is the Virtual Telescope Project. All right. Uh, I'll put a, a, a link in the description for you. Um, what they're going to do, and I did that again, didn't I? Let's take that out of there. Um, they're going to actually uh, show the passing of the asteroid uh, today live. Um, and no, they won't show this right here because I can show you that right now. If we come up here, let me make this smaller. If I come up here, see that? Same stuff. I could go like this. I can make this full screen and just... So that's not what they're going to show you. They're actually going to show you, like, with a real telescope, live. Okay? So, um... That's today, folks. Uh, I know that was a little long-winded on it. But um, look in the description. I'm going to put a few links for you. And uh, this is why I'm, like, passionate about this and always on top of the asteroid stuff because, you know, forget about um, today, right? It, which, don't forget about it, the 7,200-foot asteroid, the one that's the size of Mount Everest and... 24 football fields. It's the other one they just found a month ago. 2024 MK, which is 500 foot in diameter. At least they think it is. It could be more than that. It could be less, but it, it's probably not. Um, that's why we need the Neo Surveyor up there. It's going to be hard to wait to 2029 to get that up there. That's going to be a, a craft that's just solely dedicated to, you know how the James Webb is in the L2 orange um, point where it's just stationary there, right? Well, that's what we need to do with the Neo Surveyor, where its sole purpose is search for asteroids, and especially asteroids that are coming from the direction of the sun. Those are the ones we have the most difficult time seeing, and we really can't see them. The Neo Surveyor will take care of that. But its project keeps getting pushed back. Um, so I think we really need to get on top of that. And hopefully they do something. Uh, all right, folks, uh, do me a favor if you can. Just give a like to this video. That always helps. And um, stay tuned. I have um, a couple of more videos coming. Um, I got a cool one on the moon that I'm working on. And um, uh, I'm going to cover the um, the asteroid, the desktop um, 
simulation they did where it's like uh, the desktop exercises where every two years they uh, a bunch of the agencies from around the world they get together in a conference and they go over a scenario of um, it's it's not a real asteroid but what if and for some reason they went from doing it every two years and doing one that like what if a year away this asteroid is going to hit so now they went to an asteroid that's 14 years out and the preliminary stuff that I was hearing sounded very repetitive over the past years, and I didn't like it. So, I mean, I think it's something that people need to make their voices heard more on it. Um, it's something that we can't um, put our heads in the sand over and just hope it doesn't happen because as sure as the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, Eventually, some point, someday, it will. Maybe in your lifetime, may not be. But, um, I don't know, right? What are you going to do? So, um, I'll talk with you all soon. Again, do me a favor, give this a like, and share it out if you want. All right? All right, peace out.